Hello beautiful people. I should probably do my proper intro since it's gonna be my last time saying it as a 17 year old. Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. If you are a regular viewer, you will know that this is not my usual setup for my, oh hold up, Rachel's just snapchat at me she's my neighbor behind this wall but as i was saying i'm currently at university as you can see polaroid wall has made its way down to hamilton with me as you guys are watching this if i've got my act together the day this video goes live will be my 18th birthday so this is my last video that i'm filming as a kid kind of weird to say that but it's fine i'm so awkward i literally haven't filmed a sit down video in so long because i've been i've been here for like four weeks that is crazy let's get to the point as you guys already know by the title I'm going to be sharing with you guys 18 things I've learnt at 18 years old. I did this video last year for 17 things I learnt at 17 and so this is kind of just the last year I guess. This is also a bonus video. I haven't actually announced that this is up. If you're watching this now and it's just gone up, thank you for having post notifications on, you're the best. So number one, you don't have to be friends with everyone so don't expect to get along with everyone. I'm a people pleaser and I will admit that, but you will not get along with everyone. That's just life. So don't beat yourself up about it. Number two, it is absolutely okay to not be okay. This is something that I only learned the true meaning of in the last like 12 months. You guys are like, Emma, really? You didn't realize that? But what it means is basically, if you're not feeling okay, that is fine. No, there's no rules to say that you need to be happy 100% of the time. There's no rules to say that you need to be like this or that or whatever. If you're not okay, that is okay. Number three, it is better to be productive than to waste time. Ask yourself, what else would I be doing right now? This so this is something I use when I should be studying because we all know that studying is not the most fun of activities. When I'm like, okay, I need to do some study, I'm like, oh, like, I can't be bothered. I ask myself, like, what else would I be doing if I wasn't studying? If the answer is watching YouTube, watching TikTok, doing nothing, then that means that I should be studying. Number four, you can be the most organized person on the planet and still get run down over things. Don't beat yourself up over the little stuff. Number five, the ability to live in the moment is one of the most greatest skills you can develop. As like someone whose job is to take videos of their life and share them, I have, you guys have probably noticed as well, I've really stepped back from posting on Instagram. I still like, don't get me wrong, I still take photos, but I don't share as much. And like, it's good just to live in the moment and take the photo and be like, oh cool, like, I you know, for the memes. Number six. University involves a lot more reading than anyone was anticipating. Number seven. Only speaking kindly about people is one of the most warm feelings. This comes back to what our mum used to tell us when we were kids. If you don't have something nice to say, then don't say it at all. Number eight is kind of like, I don't know, I feel like this won't resonate with everyone just because we don't share the same beliefs, but trust the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. If anyone's curious, this is Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 and this is also, I've got a study for my shelf up there, but this was one of the Bible verses that I learnt as a kid through icons, I don't know if any of you guys do icons, like Girls Brigade, I learned it through that and it was also one of the main Bible verses at my papa's funeral, so for that, like for those few reasons, that's something that really stuck with me and it just, yeah, means a lot to me. Number nine, you will grow out of things in life and that is okay. I will elaborate on that one shortly. Number 10, when someone speaks negatively about you, it reflects worse on them than it ever will on you. So this was the number one piece of advice I gave to anyone in 2019. I got a lot of DMs by people who were struggling with bullying and that is the one thing I sent to them. When someone is bullying you, that reflects way worse on them than it ever will on you as a person. Number 11, don't compare your progress to anyone else. You are you, not them. Number 12, experiences are so much more valuable in their long run than anything materialistic. I never really used to hang out with people outside of school, but obviously now, like, in the last 12 months, Owen and I celebrate our, our one year anniversary a week ago when this video goes up, and spending time with him is literally, like, means so much more to me, and spending time with people and going, like, concerts and going on trips and stuff, that's gonna stick with you a lot longer than anything materialistic will. Number 13, it is not selfish to make yourself your priority. Number 14, don't underestimate how much a good routine can enlighten your mood. So I've got two points, like two sub points under this. So the first one is organization, but it's still good to switch it up and not be afraid to break the routine every now and then. So yeah, it's good to have that routine, but don't be afraid to step out of that routine and do something different and like mix it up. Go out of your comfort zone, but then still be able to come back to that routine is also important. Because like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a very big routine person, and when my routine is like out of whack for like more than a week or two, I'm just not good. And also, don't undervalue a good night's sleep. That's also under that. 
same point. Getting those eight hours of sleep. I read something the other day that said you had to get five and a half hours of sleep. And I was like, sis, if I was getting five and a half hours of sleep, I would be like, not in a good state. Number 15, everything happens in the right time and everything happens for a reason. So just hang in there. Just because things aren't going well now doesn't mean that they aren't going to improve. I don't know if anyone else, else experienced this or was going to experience this in year 13, but I found year 13 was like an absolute roller coaster in terms of emotions and like trying to come to terms with the fact that like the unknown once you leave school and all those sorts of things but don't worry because it will fall into place. Number 16, you will flourish when you're in the right place. I actually came up with this last night as I was brushing my teeth. This links back to that number 9 about growing out of things. Towards like halfway through the year 13 I just knew that I had grown out of high school. I knew that I was ready to move on to the next chapter of my life and I knew that that chapter was university but I was still nervous but when it came to move-in day at university I thought that I would be so like nervous and anxious and scared and whatever but honestly I wasn't at all. For me that gives me real reassurance and peace that university is the right place for me and I feel like I'm already growing and I've only been here for like four weeks. Like yes I've been going home but being here and being like semi-independent I've learned a lot about myself and I've learned a lot about like life because through high school I I'm not going to self-diagnose myself here but I had really bad anxiety problems like yeah it stopped me from doing a lot of things here let's just little story time so I was competing for orienteering if you guys don't know what it is it's basically like a massive treasure hunt type thing just google it if you don't know that was a really bad explanation but I was competing at a national level so I've run like hundreds of maps um, across New Zealand and I was I was quite good like I'd run in like top 10 for my age group and literally like flick of a switch I lost all my confidence I was so anxious I literally went to the doctors like I was too scared to go out on my runs and I actually was at nationals and I was competing in a team with two of my school friends and I was the first runner so I realized so I'd go out and do my run and then Kyla went and then Emma went and um, anyway I went out to do my run I made 100 meters I had a panic attack, I broke down on the ground, I don't even remember what happened, but I ended up back at like, like I walked back to the start, I was like hyperventilating, that was, yeah, not good, and that was when I knew, I was like, this is bad, and I've moved on from that, I'm in a much better headspace now that I've moved on from like high school, because that was like an anxiety that I still associated even a couple years on with high school, and now that I've moved on from that, I'm actually really proud of myself for overcoming that. Like, this is kind of a bit of a tangent, like a bit of a segue, but anyway. So yeah, that kind of links back to like, if you're in the right place, you will flourish. So I feel like at that point, I knew that orienteering wasn't the thing for me because of that anxiety it was causing me. And I actually got like that with high school, that it was making me feel a bit like, a bit uneasy. And now I'm here and I feel like myself again. Number 17, you don't have to believe everything that you think. I heard this the other day in one of Sarah's Day's podcasts with like the health co with Kurt. And they were talking about meditation. I can't remember the guest speaker they had, but it was a podcast from like over a year ago. She was like a meditation coach and she said, you don't have to believe everything you think. Like, you know, those little voices you hear in your head, like not voices, but like thoughts you have and you're like, you feel like those are your thoughts. You don't have to agree with like, when she said this, I was like, wow, like my life makes sense. And that just like, I was like that. That just blew my mind, my level of positivity in my mind, just like since hearing that, I've had literally like the best week. And last but not least, life goes on, so don't do on the little things. And I think that that is really important because life does go on, especially with everything that's going on at the moment. I can't actually mention what is going on because I will get demonetized. But with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, I just want you guys to stay safe and look out for each other, keep your social distance, be sensible about it all. I know it can be really scary, but if you're watching this, I'm just sending my love to you if you've been affected by it. Like, I know we're pretty safe. Well, not, mm, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a little bubble here at university. But compared to other places in the world, like, everywhere in, like, lockdown and stuff, I just hope that you guys are all safe and all well. Thank you guys so much for your support. And thank you so much for being with me on this little roller coaster for the last year from 17 to 18. And, yeah, this is your first time seeing my face. Hopefully you'll stick around for a few more videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. I am filming a video. This is also really annoying me. I should, I'm not even like in the middle of a, it's fine. Oh, that does not make sense, you know. I should have proofread these.